What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Brand new series popping off. I'm a little bit a week late, but I don't give a fuck. Let's jump right into it. Green Bay, Chicago, the most boring game of the week. Green Bay beat them up 10 to 3. Really wasn't anything noteworthy here. Both teams played like trash, especially Green Bay, which is pretty surprising. And of course, Tennessee and Cleveland. Tennessee beat the shit out of Cleveland, considering Cleveland had all that hype. Cleveland can only put up 13 points. Says a lot. Probably going to be their entire season. Baltimore beat the hell out of Miami in the skull drag of the week 59 to 10 beat them by 49 points that's pretty much going to be the gist of Miami season and of course right after the game all the veteran players wanted to be traded that lets you know that team ain't going to win shit this year so don't put your money on them Minnesota beat up on Atlanta 6 28 to 12 beat them by 16 of course the New York Jets got a New York Jet by giving up a lead and choking in the very end to let the Buffalo Bills beat them by a point Washington of course choked on a 17 point lead and ended up losing 32-27. Carolina and the Rams. You had the Rams end up edging Carolina. And by the way, I don't know what the hell's happened with Cam Newton, but that ain't the same motherfucker. He's not the same motherfucker he used to be. Kansas City, Jacksonville. Kansas City beats up on Jacksonville with the story of the game being that starting quarterback for the Jaguars, Nick Foles, knocked the hell out of the game with a fucked up clavicle. And he's probably going to be gone for the majority of the season. So Jacksonville, you're fucked. Indianapolis and Los Angeles. This is pretty much self-exclamatory. The fact that the Chargers needed overtime to beat the Colts lets you know how much trash the uh, Chargers are going to be. And, I mean, the Colts, they don't have a prayer in the world now that Andrew Luck retired. Uh, Seattle barely beat Cincinnati. The fact that they beat Cincinnati by one point says a lot about Seattle, considering Cincinnati is another garbage team that's going to be at the bottom of the AFC North this year. Uh, New York beat up on, well, essentially got the shit beat out of them by Dallas. No surprise here as the Giants have been trashed for a long time, especially since they're going to transition to a new quarterback. And, of course, Dallas is on the rise with all the weapons they have. And I don't know if they're going to keep it up, but at least week one they got it done. Uh, and then, of course, in the uh, shittiest game of the week, in the absolute toilet bowl between two pieces of shit, uh, they end up in a tie because both teams are terrible. Arizona's bad. They had to come back just to tie with Detroit in overtime. That lets you know that Arizona's trash. And Detroit's trash for giving up a lead. Uh, then, of course, you have Tampa Bay and San Francisco. San Fran beat the hell out of the Buccaneers. Uh, and to be honest with you, the Buccaneers, eh, not the best team out there. Neither is San Francisco. I don't know what this game is going to say about their future, but it'll be interesting to see. And then, of course, New England skull-dragged uh, the Steelers on Sunday Night Football. Then, of course, you had a very close game, probably game of the week, with Houston and New Orleans, with New Orleans barely getting by Houston. And then, of course, Joe Flacco and the Broncos get their teeth kicked in by the Raiders. I don't know what Week 2 is going to bring, but hopefully it brings us a lot more action than what we had Week 1.